Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today we're going to be checking out this half-hour gameplay showcase of My Hero Academia Ultra Rumble. This is very, very early access gameplay, but we're going to be checking out Bakugo's gameplay and all of the scenes we have of him playing. So obviously, first we see him in the lobby, chilling with Deku and All Might, his teammates. Okay, so the first scene we see Bakugo, he's just ignoring some person asking for his help on the floor, and he's opening a chest and grabbing some upgrade cards. Grabs an alpha upgrade for Darby. Some potions and stuff. Is he gonna save that poor man on the ground? <laughs> a lot of Darby things out of that chest. That kind of sucks. Oh, yes! Okay, never mind. Nope. We don't want to see that, apparently. Okay, so they're talking about the different abilities that everyone has. Their alpha, beta, and gamma abilities. Bakugos, he has alpha abilities. Just that laser explosion, whatever. What did he call it? Um, AP shot. That's right. <laughs> and his beta ability, he throws some grenades, and his gamma ability, he does some weird like cartwheel that explodes. Okay, Bakugo's catching back up with the team. Still talking about his abilities. Okay, Cementos, Cementos, you're going down. Come on, hey, oh, that's his beta ability through like four grenades. Wow, 90 damage for one hit. I think that's the most damage single hit we've seen in any of this gameplay. 50 for the last hit of his attack string. Ooh, beating up Mount Lady with his normal attacks. Okay, okay. And throw some more grenades. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, he kind of, kind of missed, but it looked cool. Come on. Bakugo seems a bit like a sniper, which is kind of weird with his regular attacks. They're very small. Like, it's a small beam laser that hits people, and I don't know if that, <laughs> that's going to be very easy to hit people with. But then his, the rest of his abilities are like complete area of effect crazy stuff, like his grenades and rolling thing. Then he beats up this poor, poor Mount Lady sitting on the ground. And she dies, drops all of her cards. Where'd Darby go? He just disappeared. Okay. <laughs> Did he intentionally just activate Darby's trap? Oh, nice. He drank a potion to get more shield, I think. Are they sharing cards with each other? Oh, come on, come on, pick it up, Akuko. That's for you. That's for you. That's your gamma ability. Do it! Do it! Pick it up! Pick up the card! Oh, he's full. That's why. <clears throat> yeah, that's why. <laughs> that's why you don't pick up all these random Darby things. Hurry, or else he's gonna kill you. I swear, if you don't get that card, Bakugo. Oh, thank God. Hell yeah. Now he's got an OP gamma ability. Where'd Tsuyuga? Wasn't she just trying to beat you guys up and she just left now? More grenades. Single shot. I think he's gonna do the gamma ability now. I'm pretty sure I've seen this. He just completely misses. But it looks cool. Ready, gamma ability! Woo! He like rolls, like does 50 cartwheels and just does one big explosion at the end. It looks pretty awesome if you do it intentionally and know where you're going. Ooh, and this is something really cool that I find awesome about this game, is that the arenas are actually, like, dynamic and breakable. Like this tree, look, it gets set on fire when he shoots it with his ex explosion beam, his AP shot. And the tree just gets set on fire and it ends up burning down and just becoming, like, like a burnt tree. I think we see it there now. Yeah, look, it's got no leaves, it burnt down. So maybe someone was standing or hiding in it and then you can see them now. And later on we see buildings get destroyed. Like, that's so awesome. Be having, like, destructible terrain is crazy fun in a game like this. And pretty rare for a battle royale. Did we see him do anything interesting? I was too busy talking about that. He's just trying to shoot Darby and he keeps missing. All he hit was that tree. <laughs> And he drinks a potion to get a bunch of shield back. Smart man. Smarter than the Deku player that we were watching before. <laughs> uh, and then use an upgrade card. What's he gonna upgrade? His regular attacks. His alpha? Alpha twice. Okay. You better... You better he heap people <laughs> with that if you can upgrade it so much. Okay, Tsu's back for more... It would help if you could see where she is. <laughs> Keep the camera off, and he's already dead. What? Thanks, All Might's magical hands. <laughs> now we're just watching from afar so we don't die again embarrassingly, I guess. Surely you throw some grenades to you from above. <laughs> Oh, 
Ooh. Hey, whoa. 103 and 90 damage. Wow. So those grenades do a ton of damage, and they all hit right close to each other. So Darby just took a big hit. Oh, wow. And Bakugo doesn't get hurt by them, so that's really cool. Like you saw there, you can just throw them at the ground and make a massive explosion around you. So if you're in like a big mosh pit of tons of people attacking you, just throw it like three grenades at the ground and boom, you've done tons of damage to everyone near you. Toga? Are you gonna, you gonna hit Toga or just leave? Oh, oh, yo, that's the first time. <laughs> that's the first time we've seen Bakugo actually hit his projectile. So we didn't. It seems to have a bit of a generous hitbox. It didn't look like he actually hit her. Like, he kind of shot off to the side, but it did decent damage, and he actually managed to hit her. Impressive, Bakugo. You're getting better. <laughs> Unlike the Deku player, when we were watching his gameplay, he just was continuously like a bot. <laughs> no, Deku, pick it up, please. This happened last time. And then Bakugo tried to save you and pick up the thing, and then it was just a waypoint, and then, ah, oh, tragic. <laughs> Why doesn't he- we didn't see him use his triangle for, like, his super fast flight thing. That would have been a very good time to use it when you're stuck outside there. Okay. Saving All Might, paying him back for, for saving us before. And save Deku? Wow. Bakugo, you're such a team man. Ooh! Oh, it looks like he actually did manage to hit Mount Lady with a bit of the rolling part. The thing is though, he goes so fast, you have to have the opponent at the perfect range for that final explosion to hit. Unless you can control where you go while you're rolling, but I'd imagine you would always have to go a certain distance forwards, right? Oh, he managed to hit some of his projectiles again? Wow. Bakugo, you're getting good at this. Oh yeah, these are- because all of the character models and animations are like kind of recycled from Mons Justice 2, but this crawl animation is going to be new, because that definitely wasn't in Mons Justice 2. But it seems like everyone has the exact same crawl animation. You can see the three of them, they're all doing the exact same poses, so all the animations that aren't in Mons Justice 2 are just completely the same for every character. Oh, saved All Might again. Good job, Bakugo. Biggest team player on this team. <laughs> what are you gonna do about these two massive mount ladies on the screen? <laughs> oh my god. So like, I guess... Actually, the massive thing- Oh, wow, yeah, that's- <laughs> With a massive mount lady, that's a good opportunity to hit your gamma ability. Smart Bakugo, wow. I love this player. But, um, mount ladies... Gigantification is kind of interesting because her attacks become massive and she can hit tons of people for tons of damage. Like she just wiped out Bakugo in one hit there and presumably hit a bunch of other people too. But it also makes herself way more of a target because people can shoot her way more easily and hit her with abilities way more easily. So it makes you like a massive glass cannon kind of. Like you can hurt people a lot, but it's a lot easier to hurt you too. <laughs> Okay, Bakugo and All Might are sticking together, dying together. Oh, and Bakugo got knocked out again. Come on, All Might. Bakugo saved you twice. You can do this. There's a two on the floor yet. Yeah. Are you gonna like knock her out? Or just leave her there? Sure. <laughs> Ooh, managed to hit that. That's the second time he was able to hit the last part. Nice! He even shot- Oh my god, this Uraka taking a beating from Bakugo here. I'll hit all three of his abilities against her. Gamma ability. Beta ability. She lands in all those grenades, and he managed to get an alpha shot off before, I'm pretty sure. Yep, just aiming for the massive Mount Lady on the screen. <laughs> Knocked out again, holy moly. It doesn't seem like the countdown gets any shorter every time you get knocked out again. I'm pretty sure in games like Fortnite and PUBG, every time you fall down, like, the amount of time you have to be fall fallen down before you die gets shorter and shorter, but the what the- <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I forget about that every time. God, what is that attack? The I think pretty sure that's just a glitch of Mount Lady, right? She doesn't have a Sonic the Hedgehog or, like, Roadrunner sprinting ability. And oh my god, that circle. That circle is as big as Mount Lady. <laughs> All Might's down, oh no. 
<sighs> That's the end. Who might can't survive against that? Ooh, okay. We've got Sky Top. I mean, Rooftop Bakugo. Not really anything on these buildings for you to be <laughs> parkouring over, but it looks cool. Ooh, come on, come on. Something good. Potions and a level up. Okay. Nice, nice. Hey! Okay, that doesn't actually go as far as I thought it would, but it looks pretty cool. And it would be really useful when you're stuck in the purple. Hey, look, now he's using it a ton. Ooh, did he actually snipe Cementos there and burn that tree? That was a cool hit. Hey, look, and one of his teammates just gave him one of his cards. Hey, teamwork? Wow, good job, guys. Oh, throw some grenades. Damn, those grenades are so... Oh, Cementos just putting a massive platform in the middle. And then just beating up Cementos while he's down. Oh. Bakugo goes in and beats the people while they're down again. Come on, 2v1. Surely she can't get out of here. Come on, Bakugo. Melee, melee. She's still there. Oh, jeez. So that's like some kind of takedown attack? Like, that I presume you specifically use on people that are already on the floor and just like smack them? Or is that just the final hit of any melee when they're on the floor? I don't know if that looked <laughs> pretty intense. Is it an instant kill for people on the ground? Because that would be kind of OP. Come on, Bakugo, get out of the purple stuff. You've got a, f you've got a fast sprint ability. Ooh! Exploding Darby. Oh, and this is this awesome scene. So Bakugo is using his alpha shot and Deku. And they're combining their powers to destroy this building that Cementos is running up, and he just falls into the water, like that poor guy. That looks so awesome. I, I don't know why, but it makes me so happy that the map is destructible, that is just oh, so awesome. It just makes it feel so much more real, or like, immersive, that you can actually destroy the terrain that someone's standing on, be like, oh, you're not standing on that tower anymore, goodbye, we just shot it down. The water is really weird though, I feel like they're gonna change that, because you literally, you just act like it's not there and it just is like, a cover. You just walk around under it, completely this exact same speed, acting like it's not there. It just makes it harder for people to see you. Like, look at this, what is this? Ooh, okay, so this round we are starting off with Bakugo. He's ready for that chest. Go. Two potions. Ooh, nice. He's got full shield right at the start of the game. <gasps> Surely you save the civilian this time. Yes, Bakugo. Wow. Pro hero material right here. Wow, that takes a long time. What do you get for it? Is that life? Is that like... Does that fully regen your life? I'm not sure. Oh, your team's HP. Interesting. Okay, so we're wondering how- Oh, found a new team! Darby's trying to save people. Darby doesn't save people. <laughs> he's an imposter. Now he's running away. Ah, classic Darby plays. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna save this civilian right in the middle of the battle? Okay. 
Animations are a little bit weird. Oh? Oh yeah, what's a yellow shield to do? Because the blue one obviously gives you the, the shielding, but what does a yellow thing do? Now, Lady tried to do an ambush from behind. Kind of backfired though, because the team's together. Oh, did you just throw that at all, mate? Oh, sniping Mount Lady. Come on, you can do this, Bakugo. Bakugo, you can do this. Can anyone do this? Okay, you, you're all kind of just hitting the wall. I'm pretty sure Mount Lady is still behind there. Yeah, she's just chilling. Okay, now it's just All Might and Bakugo. <laughs> Bakugo is stuck inside a building, not really doing much. Come on, guys, there's only one other person. You got this. Oh, wait, there's a bunch of... Oh, three teams. Oh, there's five people in this tiny circle. Come on, Bakugo. Come on, All Might. It's just two now. Ooh, oh, Bakugo is gone. Get in there. Shoot something. Shoot some grenades. Oh, no. Oh, All Might has got this. Is there still five people? They're all just crawling on the floor. Oh, yeah, easy. Now Baku goes up. Easy wins. Good job, team. Anyways, I think that's the last of this gameplay. <laughs> the gameplay is a little bit janky, but you know, obviously, it's very early in the game's life. But it looks really fun, and Baku goes looking cool himself. Anyways, thanks for watching all the way through this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!